pay for me tournaments and stuff, but yeah. otherwise, apart from that, it's just struggling really. But so you have to go do it if you can't, you just have to do what you can. First time I've obviously played in it, and uh, I've started doing well. Won a couple of competitions. I lost in the final and won in Austria, and got, earned quite a bit of money. I'm up to number three at the moment. So. Number three, fantastic. Yeah. But for for people who you know who are not earning as good money and, and having to really battle um, to survive financially, how difficult is it for them on the circuit? It must be unbelievable, really, especially if they're going to do a lot of the, lot of the tournaments because it's weekends and it's hotels and travel and food and, and if they drink it's, it's drink money so unless they've got someone that can help them out sponsorship wise I, I don't know how they cope really. Yeah, I mean, I've always I've been told that I've got natural throw, like genuine natural ability which is uh, it's nice when people say that. So. Yeah I've won more than I've lost. And against are these just against 13 year olds and below or? No they're against like 18 to 21 year olds and Basically, when I play men's super league as well, they're older than that. Apparently, you're averaging really high, and you're you're pretty much um, conquering anyone who just gets in your way. You're just hammering them. I've heard. I try. You try. Yeah. Risk. I mean, I've tailor made my life almost to play darts at this yeah. level. I've, uh, I went to college for two years to get a job that would pay a high hourly rate, so I could cut my hours down yeah. to work part time. at the home of Barry Hearn, the legend, chairman of PDC Darts. Darts is similar now. Everyone knows that you've got to hit 100 plus average if you're going to have a chance. You've got to be able to take out your checkouts at crucial moments. You've got to hold your nerve. They've been educated by television. They've seen Taylor at his best. They've seen Barnveld at his best. They've seen Anderson. The kids that are coming through now on youth tours and these kids all over, names that I've never heard of, will bring a whole new dimension to the sport. And in a way that's exciting, and in a way it's frightening. The protégé will bring us the next power, the next hurricane, the next whirlwind. We need them in our sport, and we're going to find them.